what is up you guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to talk to you about something that I get asked about how I do a lot which is my hair as you can see it's um not done today but I'm gonna walk you through the process as to how I get my like loose beachy waves um, I personally have been using this uh, Chi Arc for about two or three years now um, it's the automatic rotating curler so the spoon is like about I would say a third of the size of a regular spoon and you press these buttons and the barrel curls on its own and resets to center. Um, it also has adjustable heat settings which I really like because I don't like to totally fry my hair. Um, I also like to use some sort of like drugstore cheap heat protectant um, just so my hair doesn't like end up totally fried like my ends right now really need to trim but uh, um, it does help kind of extend times in between trims if you're using heat on your hair pretty often. Uh, I also like to hit my hair with a little bit of texturizing spray uh, after I've styled it. But to get started, I always section off my hair into six sections. So you like to think about the hair as in three different thirds vertically and then horizontally in halves. So what I do is I take a front section and I twist that up and secure it with a clip. I take the other front side section and twist that up and also secure it with another clip. This doesn't have to be like crazy organized and depending on your hair um, like thickness and um, length you might want to add a section or get rid of a section. It really is up to you on how you section off your hair. And then I take this back third at the top, twist it up and secure it with the clip. Um, you can get clips anywhere. I really recommend looking at Amazon. They probably have a lot of different cheap options. Um, definitely more affordable. Anyway, so to get into the curling, I take anywhere from one inch to two inch sections and section that off on my hair. I try to pull it about as far, you know, leaving a little bit of the end out as I can and rotate slowly. I leave um, about an inch out just so that we can get that like beachiness to it still and I pull. Um, the arc has an automatic timer that'll tell you when to release your hair. I like to release it a little bit before that just so that I'm not, like I said, totally frying it. Um, I've already sprayed it with the heat protectant that I showed you earlier. I like to let that dry on my hair for a little while before I immediately go into it because you don't want to be putting heat on your hair when you have a wet product still sitting on it. But I'm going to go ahead and speed through this process, leaving those ends out just like I said. Um, and I even like sometimes pull on the ends just to like make sure the curl isn't too tight because we are going for more of a wavy effect and not those tight big like movie star barrel curls because those are not exactly um, as popular anymore but I always like to um, use the rotating function but again that's not necessary for this style you can use a standard one inch curling iron to achieve the um, same look that I am going for with this um, tool. to go ahead and I like to start with the back and clip down my back section. I brush it out just really fast with my hairbrush so there's no tangles and then you're going to repeat the same steps as you did before. to those front sections, taking the same size pieces of hair, leaving a tail, and I always like to curl away from my face 
just so it has like that nice face framing effect. This is my typically my thickest section um, just because it's where my hair parts and leaves the most hair. I have a hard left part. do sometimes like to take it and just manually twist it just so I have a little bit more control as to where the hair goes on the barrel especially as I'm getting closer to the face um, I also take a little bit smaller sections for my bangs just so that like that curl really has a nice shape around the face um, and frames it nicely wait for those beeps and pull and last piece and this is honestly the quickest hairstyle for me. I actually have very thick hair. Um, I usually take like an extra cup of dye whenever I get my hair colored. Um, it takes a long time for it to dry. Um, it's just I have very thick hair. So this process is actually really quick. It takes me usually about 10 minutes on average, sometimes a little less. So now that the hair is curled and cooled, I go ahead and just like run my fingers through it and loosen up those curls. Um, I want to make sure that I'm especially getting that back section because they like to be a little stubborn and stick together. And it has like a nice, not super tight, not heavy look to it. And while I've just finished putting my hands through it, I hit it with a little texture spray just so it kind of holds that shape. It gives it a little extra, you know, hold and style. And that is it and this took like I said about 10 minutes super easy super functional I like to also like take it and do like half up styles with this um, if you put a little volume in your roots you can go for a little bit more glam of a look with this it's also just great for like a daily um, where I honestly like this better than straightening it's less damaging you're not pulling on those ends as much and it's just quicker for me because like I said my hair is so thick going through each piece and pulling it down and pulling it down and pulling it down as opposed to just curling it for like about two or three seconds and then being able to move on to the next section just seems to be such a faster process for me personally um but you guys let me know what you think of this look would you use this um Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be doing more hair tutorials like this, as well as some unboxings um, and some beauty tutorials as well later on. So thank you so much. Bye, guys.